I think every human being has goodness and evil in them, or it's that, that sort of juggle of what's good, what's bad, um, you know, has, I think, been uh, a subject of all literature and art and religion. And um, so when you take a case like Dexter that is so to the extreme, that is so out of normal conduct, it allows us to look at our conduct. And when you know Dexter gr grapples with some aspect of humanity, of trying to figure out how to fit in, how to behave in a certain situation, what's the right, what's the human thing to do, it sort of forces us to go through his thought process and think, ah, what would I do in that situation? And, and all of a sudden, you find um, a, a, com a connection with this character. And I think that's the sort of irony and the hook uh, and what's unusual about this show. There's, there's also a sense of, you know, we live in such an ambivalent world where everybody's afraid to sort of take a stand. And, um, you know, everybody thinks, tend, people tend to think in, in, in absolutes. And, and a lot of TV shows are about absolutes and, and right and wrong. And, and this show isn't about right and wrong. It's about sort of everything <laughs> in between. And, um, I mean, I read a really interesting quote about, Sort of people's fascination with you know these kinds of characters through uh, you know through literature and through television and you know was described you know these characters were described as um, sparkling with the freedom of of acting on their own impulses or acting without controls and there's a bit of wish fulfillment in there I think not that we want to kill people but certainly who hasn't wanted to take things in their own hands and and not answer to anybody but do it. Um, and, you know, again, I mean, we try to make it as challenging as possible by even down to the people that Dexter kills. I mean, it's rarely black and white. We try and present uh, compelling victims who aren't, you know, just sort of out, out front evil.